Dennis Bushnell, chief scientist at NASA Langley, proposed a conference called Renaissance of Aeronautics, basically asking the question, do all subsonic transports have to look like a DC-8 or a 707? I did a crude paper on a subsonic transport that didn't look like a DC-8. It was basically a tailless configuration, and somehow NASA liked it. They gave us, at, we were called McDonnell Douglas at the time, a $89,000 contract to study it. And it showed very clearly at the time 15% lower fuel burn. We substantiated the fuel burn and did a vastly refined uh, configuration similar to this that is generic to the VWB today. NASA continued to fund us and we built a uh, low-speed flight demonstrator, flew it at El Mirage in 1995. NASA remained involved all the way through to, to today. The uh, Air Force took an interest in the BWB as a tanker. The significant parameter for a tanker is offload versus radius. How much gas can you take and how far can you get, take it? And then, of course, you've got to come back. That's why we call radius. Now there is a need, a very important need for this tanker, for the Air Force. I can't disclose that very specifically other than there are a lot of unhappy people in the world and uh, threatened people in the world and we may have to defend them. The Air Force is sufficiently serious that they say, they need the BWB now. Put simply, uh, to uh, using the F-35, a uh, conventional tanker can support one F-35 from where it is to the theater and back. The BWB can support two to three. As a commercial airplane, it has three distinct performance features. First, as much as a 30% fuel burn reduction for the same flight. Second, because the engines are on the top, noise is reduced and by 30 to 50 decibels such that airport noise will be at a level where you can have 24-7 operation. The third and biggest feature, I think, for the future is we can use liquid hydrogen as a fuel instead of jet A. Yes, uh, I can name some names. Just a week ago, I had uh, dinner with Scott Samuelson, the best person there is to talk about hydrogen as a fuel and burning it in an engine, along with Bill Suriano and Jack Brower is again back the hydrogen person. So, so there's three professors. So the linkage to UCI is strong and it can only get stronger. I enjoy teaching, period. Uh, it, uh, okay, I've been in industry. I was with what's called Boeing now 58 years. And uh, industry is the big leagues, no question. But uh, often at the end of the day, I'd feel guilty of drawing pay. When I teach and finish a lecture here at UCI, I feel I've moved the needle in the right direction. That is not always true in industry. So it's my favorite job. Currently, I teach aerodynamics and airplane design here at UCI. I, oh, on the airplane design, I don't teach them how to uh, design a VWB uh, because I'm still trying to learn how to do it. 
And whereas a commercial airplane is a straightforward design, but I bring up the BWB to show the distinction and show the kind of things that we don't know with a BWB. And uh, the result there is many of them want to come to work at Jet Zero, and that's happening. A, it's the neatest job there is. It's different every day. And, uh, well, uh, another quote is, um, the late Theodore von Karman, often thought of as the father of aeronautics, said, a scientist studies that which exists. An engineer creates that which is needed. So they need this airplane. Thank you.